Halloween is coming up quick. Here's some easy ways to creep up your fall decor. First, I added some tombstones to the front steps. Next, I added some decor to our landscape. And of course, you can't forget your ghost and spiderwebs. Lastly, I topped it off with this cute doormat. Happy Halloween from STTV. This has been Mallory and Layton. How is Halloween a holiday? Halloween is one of the most America top favorite holidays. 172 million people love to celebrate in the holiday traditions. This holiday has been organized with the celebration of the samurai. The Samurai is a Celtic Harvest Festive that is observed on October 31st through November 1st during the National Sunsets. The Celtic began on holiday traditions of wearing costumes. Many costumes were made out of animal skin to hide from the ghouls and the spirits. The revealers that would hide in the animal skin would go door to door to people's house in exchange for drinks, food, and other treats. This inspires today trick-or-treaters to go knock on people's doors for tricks or treats, many scares. Many friends and family celebrate the national holiday and receive a nice treat. Many people today still celebrate the samurai as it means the beginning of winter. This means that you have end all fall season, other seasons, and starting to begin the winter after November 1st. I was working in the lab late one night when my eyes beheld an eerie sight. For my monster from his slab began to rise, and suddenly, to my surprise, he did the match. He did the monster match. The monster match. It was a graveyard smash. He did the match. It caught on in a flash. He did the mash. He did the monster mash. From my laboratory in the castle east what? to the master bedroom where the vampires feast. What? What? The ghouls all came from their humble abode what? to get a jolt from my electrode. They did the mash. They did the monster mash. The monster mash. It was a graveyard smash. They did the mash. It caught on in a flash. They did the mash. They did the monster man. The zombies were having fun. The party had just begun. The guests included Wolfman, Dracula, and his son. The scene was rocking over digging the sound. Igor on chains back by his baying hound. The coffin bangers were about to arrive with their vocal group, the Crypt Kicker Five. They played the monster match. The monster match. It was a graveyard smash. They played the match. It caught on in a flash. They played the match. They played the monster match. Signing off for STTV, this has been Casey. Hello and welcome. To the Howdy, gentlemen. Welcome to the second annual pump game contest. Today we have. My name is Victor. Victor and uh. Tate, 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 Tate. Yeah. I'm here with uh, Victor. Stupid name. How do you feel about that Colin kid? I don't think that's his name, but he'll be- Open, we're out of time. Back to you guys. <laughs> I'm here with um, uh, the other competitor. Forgot his name, but it's all right. Other competitor, how you feeling? I feel, I feel good. You feel good? Yeah. Yeah, great. So my question is, how do you feel about your competition and you got a smaller pumpkin, do you think? That's for a reason. It's not the size that matters.
Today we are going to be doing faces. So we're calling faces. In I'm the still pumpkin. talking. Okay. Anyway, okay. All right. Any questions? Good. All right. Did, did we get to pick the face? I said any questions, and you didn't raise your hand. Victor's drawing the eyes, and Tate's putting the glasses on. That's a negative fifteen percent. Here's a quick new camera angle that we found inside the pumpkin. This is my pumpkin so far. That's amazing. I know. I did it myself. What is this monstrosity? <laughs> this is my angry face pumpkin. Where's the face or the uh, angriness? I'm still working on it. The eyebrows yeah, I can tell. add a nice touch. And nice touch. When they I get look to like the triangles. Face, it's going to be a frown. You have a minute and 30 seconds left, so no, I would I... stop talking. Oh, no. Three, two, one. <gasps> uh, uh, all right. Judging time. We are going to be judging Mr. Tolander's pumpkin. Um, as you can see, he has a nice nice nose right here. Has a nice double W uh, mouth. The Charlie Brown paint. But okay. the eyes is where the issue is. Because specifically stated, no props. Dude. What is this? This is a prop. Total overall rating is going to be a 48. This is dumb. We're going to be judging his pumpkin. So, as you can see, his pumpkin has a nice eyebrows, has the eyebrows, the eyes, the nose, and um, uh, you can still see a bunch of the markings. So that's not good. So I'm going to give him... A 51. And he Let's has a minus go. 20%. So therefore, Mr. Castro wins. Therefore, we will be destroying Mr. Tolander's pumpkin.
signing out for STTV. This is Imani, Avery, and Lauren. With it being spooky month, here's some horror video games I recommend to play this month. PT is a single player horror game where you have to get to the end of the hallway. However, the hallway never truly ends as every time you go through it, you're put back to the beginning of the hallway. Every time you go through the door, the game subtly changes and creates a new whole environment. I would personally say this is the scariest game I have ever played. I would highly recommend to play it. Phasmophobia is a multiplayer game where you and a group of friends have to go into a house and figure out which demon is haunting it. This game is basically a video game version of Ghost. It provides a lot of fun moments and a lot of scary moments as well. And it's a great game to play with your friends. With it being October and Halloween right around the corner, you know we had to be one step ahead of everybody. So you know what that means. We're Christmas shopping. Have a holly jolly Christmas. It's the best time of the year. Now I don't know if there'll be snow, but have a cup of cheer. Yo, you ever got, have you guys heard of the word comedy? And when you walk down the street, say hello to friends. It's Jack Ross. Yeah, it's Jack Ross. Oh, the mistletoe is hung where you can see. Some Look, it's yeah. guys, angels from Christmas. Santa. It's Jesus. Jesus. Jolly Christmas. You play Minecraft? Dude, what's that purple sword called? That's the Minecraft sword. I think it's the spirit at 10 out of 10 festivity that really brought the, the holiday spirit to us. It was amazing. I mean, like, their selection you saw in there was immense. I mean, everywhere you look, just, you know, scream Christmas. It, it really did. I mean, the deals, the. Uh, we're just amazing. That's all I can say. Really. Yeah, 10 out of 10 five stars.
Target has so many festivities that it makes it one of the hottest places on the market for Christmas stuff. They even got Rudolph's nose. How does he do it? It's the guy from the Mandalorian. Wait, what it appears they there are some Christmas lights. They're what trying to be this? fancier. I don't know what they're trying to do here. That's gotta knock like, man, I, I don't know how to act. That's gotta knock like, like a bunch of percents off their like stars. They mean like, alright, let's get out of home. Uh, oh, wait, 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 look at the camera, look at the camera. Oh, oh, why do they actually have Christmas stuff? It, this ruins the whole point of the video. <laughs> Who actually does this like, literally in October? Let alone, let alone like 75% of the store. It's not even Halloween yet, what? Oh, look. This will save us, this will save us. This is the stuff, man. Wow, this is, this is very festive. Look at this, look at this I mean, candy cane. Wow. That, that's the face I usually make during the holiday season. Do you want to get Christmas stuff? Don't go to at home. Do not. I'm just saying. From like what we just saw, that wasn't that bad. Maybe we can get it a better rating. It could have been worse, I guess. You guys, look up. We're leaving. On for the review. Yeah, that home definitely is zero. If you want good selections and deals, you gotta go to Spirit Halloween for all the Christmas needs. During the Halloween season, for some, it's a tradition to sit down and marathon the greatest Halloween movies, such as Friday the 13th and The Conjuring. But with every memorable one, there's always a few that leave you laughing rather than screaming. After looking up the worst of the worst and marathoning them, me and Tyler will be giving our reviews of the absolute worst Halloween movies. To start things off, we have Jacko, released in 1995 and directed by Steve Latshaw. Essentially, two grave robbers accidentally wake up an evil wizard that was hanged 100 years ago for murder. If the plot doesn't have you laughing already, then the acting will. Nearly the entire cast gives a bland delivery that only ruins the tone of some of the scenes, which ends up ruining the movie. The kills are ruined by cheesy special effects, and most of them aren't even shown on screen. However, we rate this one 3 out of 5. Next up, we have Troll 2, released in 1990 and directed by Claudia Fragasso. After a child named Joshua learns that his family will be vacationing at a town called Nilbog, he begs not to go as he was informed by his dead grandfather that goblins inhabit the town. This movie's an absolute dumpster fire from start to finish. From the horrid acting to the incoherent plot, this was supposed to be a sequel to the original Troll, but the movies have no connection at all. To make matters worse, there isn't a single troll in this movie since they're all goblins. Even mocking this movie with his friends isn't fun. Since the movie is just all around boring, we're giving this movie a 0 out of 5. This concludes our reviews of some of the worst Halloween movies. We highly recommend that you sit down and marathon these with friends, but watching them on your own is fine too. We hope that you've enjoyed our choices and we wish you all a fun and a safe Halloween. Signing off for STTV, this is Tyler Richards and Isabel Garrett Harris. Step one, draw a letter bottom on top of the pumpkin. You can use this with a pencil, a pen, or any other writing utensil. Step two, cut a letter bottom. You can use this with a knife or my preferred tool, electric saw. Step three, clean and scrape out the pumpkin. Save the seeds to make a delicious snack for later. Four, attach the pattern using tape or glue. Step five, use a little drill or a nail to poke little holes so you can follow the edge with the saw. Step six, saw the design with a hand tool or a power tool. And presto, a jack-o'-lantern. In honor of Halloween, we have decided to see how many rubber bands we could fit around a pumpkin.
Signing off for SDTV, this has been Sarah Fink. You just cut it out. Get back. No, but I'm screaming over! Scoot over! Today we are going to be talking about the Epperson House on the campus of UMKC. The Epperson House isn't your normal house. It is well known for its secret passageways, tunnels, and hauntings. In fact, it has been featured on the television show Unsolved Mysteries and is one of of the five most haunted houses in the United States. It was built by businessman Uriah Epperson in 1919. However, it took four years to build. Meanwhile, an organ was being made for his adopted daughter, Harriet Barsett. Harriet died in the home a short time later. Then Uriah died years later in 1927. UMKC got the house in 1942 after Uriah's wife passed away, but with the house came creepy things. Such as, the security guards have heard music coming from the organ loft in the living room, seeing Harriet dressed in a recital gown, and as well, in 1979, a patrol officer was reportedly hit from behind when parked in front of the house. He heard the sound of shattering glass, got out of his patrol car to investigate the scene, but no evidence of another vehicle was found. Security guards in the late 1970s have also reported hearing footsteps and witnessing other paranormal activity at the house. Today, it sits vacant with many stories to tell. Cole Hines signing out. Monster Mash. It was a graveyard smash. They did the mash. 